My name is Kerstin Jobs Björklöv. Yes, I have my. I'm going to church, and uh, this is ordinary dress, I should say. Also for, all you can have a, a shawl with flowers or so, but not in. That's not used in church. Most period during the years, this is what you have. So this is the most common combination, so to say. And then I have a white cap, and that is used by married women. And the unmarried, they have something with flowers on it, yes. I, so I was born here in the village, and my parents were teachers. And then I was sent during the winter time to my grandfather, who lived here at Knies, where you have been staying. And he was very interested in, in dress. And, and he concentrated on the traditions about the maid's dress. But my mother, she was the one who taught me. My mother's grandmother, she was very, she was very skillful in these textiles. And also other relatives have been, uh, you can see what they did. As so many textiles and so many pieces of old things, uh, uh, tools and whatever, have been kept and they have been careful with it. So, uh, and they appreciated knowledge in handicraft. They have been careful and they have, it is full of respect for what you can do with your hands and the knowledge and so on. So they were aware of the traditions and, and that this was something valuable and you should be grateful for your what you got, what you inherited, and you have to keep it. As all these pieces are rather expensive, then since we were small, well, I don't know how old, 10, 11 or so, then we got as a gift for birthday or Christmas, you could get a ribbon, you could get a material for an apron, you could for a, a blouse. So when you were to be confirmed, confirmation, then you had all the material collected and then it could be made for you. And I did the same with my girls. So that's how it, how it, it worked and it, it's the same also now. My mother, she was a teacher for small children and we could use the old pieces. So uh, uh, then when I was a child, she took me up to this small closet with it, all the costumes and she told me stories. And she said that now you're going to be very nice today and you are allowed to use this piece. But remember that it is very old, you have to be careful. And then at the same time, she told me about her grandmother who made it 1862 or, or whatever year it was. But for every, every special occasion, I had it and my brothers had it. And so, so, and, and all this was kept by my mother. So when uh, our grandchildren needed something, we went to, to my mother, there was the collection. So the, the, we, could, we could take from that and it was used and then for the next one, because there are different sizes. Yeah. Shall we Shall go, go to church? Yeah. <laughs>